Hey everybody, I'm Grace Grella and welcome to the Grace Grella Show. I'm here tonight because it's all about you. I want to get you into the positive zone. It's a new year, 2022. Woohoo! And hopefully we can create some really great energy, some good vibrations, and give you some uh, news that is going to put a little pep back in your step, make you feel like, all righty, you know, we can salvage this. This is going. This is going to be a fabulous year. And uh, I really want everybody to know that if, uh, you know, if you're shy and you don't want to call in or uh, send messages via our Facebook page, NSTV Long Island, uh, not a problem. You can email me your questions at gracegrella at gmail.com, and I'll be sure to read them and, um, you know, give an answer. Uh, that doesn't use your real name, so I'll use a nom de plume, but um, uh, you'll know it's for you. Absolutely. And for everyone, yeah, January, woo! Tomorrow, Mercury goes retrograde, but let me tell you something, something, it's been kicking in already. Today, let's see, my computer has been running slower than molasses in January. My um, printer at work died. We'll have to hold services for it. It's just over. And um, it's just unbelievable. Um, and you know that Mercury rules communications. And so all the Geminis, all the uh, Virgos, you know, Mercury's your ruling planet. You're going to notice that you're going to have to have a little bit more patience, not only with work, but with people. Okay, because there's a lot of cray cray going on out there, if you haven't noticed. So we need to take a beat, take a breath. Sometimes if you even just have to walk away and, you know, uh, <laughs> distract yourself and then come back to uh, a situation just to avoid the confrontation. A lot of nerves are on edge right now. Rightfully so. There's, there's just too much going on. My prescription for this is do not watch the news for at least a week. Put music on that lifts your heart, makes your soul happy, and focus on you and self-care and making you the best that you can be. And that's usually a January thing anyway with New Year's. It's, uh, I, I really want to write down my goals and see what uh, I can accomplish for myself. If you really need the Insider 411, hey, contact me. I'll help you out. I got the direct hotline going on here. Not a problemo. And right now, I'm really blessed that we have Mary hanging out on the, the phone right now. Mary, are you there? Hi, Grace. How are you today? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, gorgeous. How can I help you today, Mary? I just want to ask you a question. My daughter-in-law has been going through some health issues. I just want to know, will they get resolved? Um, yeah, but it's, it's not going to be overnight. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mary, I keep thinking that they're having difficulty diagnosing something. Is this true? Okay. They, they say she has epilepsy. No, so, no, I don't think so. No? Um, um, th sometimes there, there are other issues that mask themselves and, um, um, like that's why I love, uh, the medical medium books. Uh -huh. Because he goes into the whole explanation of how Epstein Barr virus. Um, uh, okay. Read that. Read his book. Um, okay. It, it's just, it, it's eye opening. It gives you the proper nutrition so that your body can heal itself. Um, okay. But I do feel, and remember now, Mercury is going retrograde tomorrow. So right. it's, it's not really the greatest time to have any testing done or this, that, the other. Um, okay you know, the false positives or the false negatives or a lot of that's going to be going on, okay? okay. Um, right. I do feel that she is going to be healed, though. It, Spirit's telling me that um, she will find a resolution. Okay. But I'm not seeing the resolution until August. Until August, okay. All right? Okay. But she's going to be fine. So, okay. you know, thank you, God. So that's the good news. Okay. But it can be really frustrating and stressful while you're on the journey to get to Wellville, <laughs> you yeah. know, what, you know what I mean? But yeah, she, no, yeah, but she's going to be fine, girl. Mary, you know, God yeah. bless you for, um, caring so much and that beautiful heart that, uh, you know, you have, uh, but you. she will be all right, sweetheart. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Um, yeah, I have one other question for you. Well, 
through her, she asked me, she, her, her mother passed away many years ago when she was in her teens. Her dad passed away, and she has a brother. But her brother is more or less an alcoholic, and she's wondering if she can try to get him any help. Will that help him at all? Um, is there anybody named Helen or Helene connected to her mother that's in heaven? That's on the other side? No, that's my mother, but she's here. Oh, that's your mother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, she keeps, um, Spirit keeps telling me about Helene has words of wisdom. So ask your mom. Uh -huh. Ask your mom about this. Um, I can't. Mom has got Alzheimer's. Well, it doesn't mean you can't ask her. What was that? It doesn't mean you can't have a convo with her. Well, she doesn't really speak much anymore. Okay. Yeah. Um... Why am I hearing this? Yeah. Yeah, mom, mom is in bed, in the bed. She, you know, she'll talk here and there, but nothing, you know. Well, you know what's, you know what's, uh, well, it doesn't really surprise me personally because God works miracles every day. Yeah. But, but there are times where uh, people become so lucid mm -hmm. and, you know, it's like uh, almost like heaven's speaking through them and they give you information. Uh -huh. Just pay attention to anything that your mother's going to be um, saying in the next okay. week or two, okay? okay? I know it sounds cuckoo, but, you know, <laughs> that's all right. I'm used to it. It's part of my uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, my said, gift, you know, being called crazy. Talk, she does talk, like, to my daughter, more so. My daughter will go in and she'll carry a conversation on my daughter sometimes, you know? Well, um, your uh, daughter-in-law's brother, the alcoholic, uh, right. there is help for him, but he's got to want it. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. So exactly and, he's, what I said. and to be honest with you, honey, this is another thing that's not going to be, in, you know, uh, instantaneous. It's not going to be until next spring. That okay. And um, but you know what does help? Prayer. Okay. And visualizing him healed. Okay. So you know you can get a family on a little uh, prayer chain going there. Okay. And um, ch ch change. I hear Aretha Franklin sing that song, Chain of Fools. But, you know, it's a prayer chain to help the fool. Okay. <laughs> right. About a bump. So it's um, um, now who is Tony or Anthony connected that's to? Your... My, that's my middle son. Oh, that's he your middle home. son. Okay. He lives home. Um, and is he changing jobs right now? No, he's been talking about it, but he hasn't done it yet. Okay, he's talking about it, but he hasn't done it yet. All right, mm -hmm. I think Spirit wants to come through because the Spirit's saying you got enough on your mind that you're worrying about. They don't want mm -hmm. you worrying about him with the job change. Okay. Um, when it's right and perfect, and um, I keep, I keep hearing the end of March. Oh, okay. All right. And that's really going to be great. And it's it, it just lifts a lot of stress and tension okay. for him, which, of course, will make you happy, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So it's all about you, honey. We want to get you less stressed and the happier. And so the okay. angels are on it. They got you. Okay. All right, right. Mary. And okay. um, also, um, they said, have a little self-care. Uh, was there a movie you wanted to... Uh, Pop some popcorn and watch on Netflix, and you haven't done it yet? Mm, I know. I wanted to go to Broadway to see the play, but can't get there either. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, until that opens up, they're mm -hmm. suggesting that you pop some popcorn and, and uh, get a, a fabulous uh, movie or musical mm -hmm. on uh, Netflix. Oh, you know what's really fabulous? I've seen it, and it's like watching a Broadway show, so you'll love oh. it. Tick, tick, boom. Really? Yeah, it's awesome. Okay. Except for a lot of awards, by the way. Okay. Check it out and let me know if you liked it. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, beautiful. Thanks so much Thank for calling so much. in. Thank you so much. You have a great night. You too, Mary. Take care, okay. love. Bye-bye. I love my job. Okay, so now I'm giving uh, Netflix uh, <laughs> recommendations. Uh, Don't Look Up was another really good one, just in case anybody's um, needing one. Uh, Tommy Shaughnessy, how you doing, babe? Alina, uh, oh, Alina, I'm so happy you're tuning in. Los Esposito, you know I love you, girlfriend. Uh, we got Debro uh, watching. Um, we've got Norma watching. Brenda, Woo, 
we got we got a lot of peeps here. I'm really happy that uh, this is this is going on. Um, that you know, <laughs> just don't give up the ship. It's a little rocky right now, but it's uh, by the end of um, February, it's going to be smoother sailing for everyone. So right now, it's, I just keep recommending to everybody, you know, patience, and I'm, <laughs> trust me when I tell you that's one of my lessons I have to learn in this lifetime, and I'm working on myself, but it's uh, do what you need to do for yourself, and that will whoo, zen you out so you can have more patience for others. And hopefully I can help Brenda. Hey, Brenda, you there? Yes. Lovable Libra, how are you, gorgeous? Hi, beautiful. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, love. And I think it's going to be all about love for you. Um, and a lot of Libras, by the way. Um, uh, for the first six months of this year, it's, it's like you know the universe is just going to be throwing romance at you. Oh, I got the chills. That means that's the truth check. Yes. Yeah. When people give you information, you get chills like that. Yes. And, and validation. <laughs> yeah. Validation is right. And um, also, have you started reading for people yet, Brenda? You know what? <laughs> um, how do you mean that? Because it's like I feel it coming on stronger and stronger. So on a personal level, when I feel something, I tell the person something, but... Okay. I haven't gone into that. Deep. Okay. Well, this is yeah. what this is what I'm talking about, sweetheart. It's of uh, spirit uh, and the angels giving you the FYI, giving you the information so that you can be the messenger as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, trusting yourself, just flowing with it. Um, you know, as a Libra, sometimes you're so brilliant, but you overanalyze too much. Yes, that's true. So there are times where you say, well, maybe I shouldn't say it, or maybe they don't want to hear it, or, you know, you talk yourself out of it nine times out of ten. And Spirit's asking you, the angels are asking you to just trust it and, and deliver. Stand and deliver. That was a movie, I think. Just, just give the info, and you'll become more uh, aware of how they're giving you the information, number one. Number two, it'll flow easier for you and uh, you won't be think overthinking it as much. But they also said that, you know, uh, Libras are uh, not only beautiful, but they admire beauty. And there's some, you should find a, a tarot deck that is beautiful to you. Okay. Uh, where the pictures just, every picture tells a story, don't it, as Rod Stewart would sing. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's you look at, and it tells, it just tells the story. You don't have to like look it up in a book for the okay. definition, you know? Okay. It's like you absorbing, um, it's like Edgar Casey used to put books under his pillow at night and wake up and know ev all the information that was in the book. Beautiful. So, um, just like you. So, you, you can do this. Uh, I really feel this is what spirit's gonna be leading you towards this year, Brenda, but okay. first it's gonna be your love life. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I'm claiming it. Good. Because once you have that, because Libras, think about this, Libras are born for relationships. Yes. So once you have that, mm -hmm. and you have that comfort and that foundation, then you can open up even more. That's perfect. And, you know, share that beautiful gift, non-refundable gift, that you too are being awarded uh, from above Aww. with love. Thank you. It all makes perfect sense, definitely. Okay. And um, I, I do feel that there'll be a little vacation um, in the fall for you with your new love. Oh, that's perfect. Remember to uh, wear your sunscreen. Okay. All right. You want to keep that porcelain skin porcelain. <laughs> okay. All right. Any um, additional questions you have for me tonight, love? Uh, as long as you've got the love vibes going, is it somebody that I connected with already and that I feel that it's growing? Ooh, I heard definitely. Okay, sounds wonderful. And uh, what astrological sign is he, please? Oh my God, when is his birthday? I'm not, uh, I think the summertime, I want to say July. Okay. I want to say July, the summer. Okay, so um, a, a Leo, Cancerian or a Leo? Yes. Uh, both would be brilliant for you, so no worries. Okay. Um, but I also feel, who's Bruce to you, please? 
nobody as of yet. All right, please write down the name and remember it. Bruce. Yeah. Okay. Um, I hear that name. Uh, so this could be somebody that the universe is going to, uh, you know, we all deserve options in life. Yes. And sometimes um, as a Libra, unless you have something to uh, compare it to, um, who, uh, do I really, really love him? Or do I really, really love him? <laughs> Got it. Got it. Um, I think that's why Bruce is going to be put into your life. In okay. The, okay. Got it. In the spring. So you're going to have a fabulous 2022 because it's all about love for you, honey. Oh, I will let you know when you will be invited to everything, every step of the way. Good. I'll throw rose petals at you. Yeah, sounds wonderful. Okay. Thanks so much for watching and calling in, Brenda. I appreciate you. Always, Angel. You stay healthy and be well. Love you. Okay. Love you, too. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Okay, bye. Okay. Um, all right, everybody. Yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, my pleasure because this is what... It's my J-O-B. This is why I'm here. And I love that now in 2022, a lot of people are uh, tapping into their own abilities. And um, I love that Brian Orlando, the DJ from Shark Radio, uh, was bought, Pineapple bought his girlfriend, Nicole Schaefer, bought him a, a rock and roll tarot deck. And this is, and he's a Gemini. He has... So much information about music and rock and rock groups and the instruments and everything. And so it, it just gives him a, um, an anchor point to allow the information to flow through. So um, definitely check him out on the radio and on his Instagram because um, uh, 0616 is his birthday. And I believe that's his Instagram handle. And it's just really interesting and I, I just love that this is developing for him. Um, also for his uh, girlfriend, uh, Nicole, who he lovingly calls Pineapple. She's a brilliant Virgo. And um, she's tuning in her own abilities. I'm just being surrounded by people keying into being more aware, being more conscious. And that's just a beautiful sight to see. Now, hopefully I can help Claudia, who's on the phone, Claudia, are you there? I am here. Woohoo! Finally. <laughs> How can I, I help you, girl? Well, I got to ask you. Got some big, big stuff coming into me lately um, in a very strange way with my art. And something huge is going on with my daughter. And um, I'm trying to stay in the light with it. I'm trying to only see her in the night, flying high, um, but I'm, you know, getting pulled down. I'm just wondering if you got anything for me. Okay, well, you know, <laughs> first of all, as a loving, nurturing Cancerian. Yes, I am. I know, that's why you're so beautiful. <laughs> and it's very important, the number one thing for all Cancerians, family. Absolutely. So it's, you know, um, that's your uh, first love. That's, um, you, you just yeah. want to embrace them, nurture them, make sure everybody's happy. <laughs> and um, now, this is the daughter that just got married, right? It sure is. Okay. And yeah. is she talking about moving out of state? Uh, no, no. She, um, big, big other things going on and difficult things all right spirit um, shows me moving boxes really so when i see that it, it's either a literal she's moving to another state or two mm. it's it's symbolic that she's uh moving in a different direction okay we could say that mm -hmm. okay. um <laughs> but right now, what astrological sign is she claudia please gemini gemini okay so she's brilliant because she's a Gemini, mm -hmm. but right now Geminis are under a lot of stress. Yeah. So you know we have to be very patient and very loving and get a, give a lot of TLC to all our Geminis in our lives. Okay. Because they just need it. They they really do. And um, Geminis are just so sensitive, but they would never admit to it. 
okay. Mm, yeah, she's got a big, thick wall. Yeah, because they're, well, they have a lot of pride, you know, and it's, they don't want to be beholden to anybody. You know, I'll take, I'll do it myself. I'll take care of it myself. But, you know, we all need someone we can lean on, as the song says. <laughs> and um, you want to kiss and make it better. I know you do. I do. I, I do. Um, but your mother's loving energy and your prayers are in the process of being answered and addressed. Right now, they want you to know that, you know what? Um, heaven's got her, and she's going to be okay. All right? You need well, to... I, you need yeah, to I have a teacher, a new teacher in my life who's trying to guide me toward just staying in the light that I know and I've been shown, um, and it's hard for me. It's, it's hard to stay there. Um, yeah. yeah, well, welcome to being human. All right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, because, Boy. You know, we get distracted. We're like, okay, I get the um, <laughs> the um, and I got to be in the in the positive zone. But wait, my go. kid's in crisis. I, I I have to handle that. You know. <laughs> so you know, we get drawn out. We get um, uh, uh, pulled out of the uh, the good yeah. energy space through worry, concern. Okay. And um, can, I, can I share the art thing with you that's sure. happening? Sure, sure. About five months ago, I got this impulse that it was about climbing out of what I'll call the wreckage of the past, um, being saved by love, and climbing up, and, and blackbirds that were, were very prominent in my childhood. And I, I did this, I'm doing this on my living room wall. I'm calling it the ancestor wall and the healing wall. But here's the thing. It, it centers on the phoenix. Up at the top of the wall now, there's a metal phoenix, and the guy is climbing up this mesh piece of art, a guy climbing up a rope. He's climbing up, and he's going to get there. He's going to come out of the flames. He's going to be good. So what's happening now is I have a new teacher who is telling me she sees my daughter as the phoenix that is chained and cannot get free. And my job is to just keep her in the light and only believe the best and not get pulled into feeling sad. So it's really challenging because she's really is chained right now. But I'm doing it on the wall in my living room. And now she's the second person who has done this Phoenix thing. So it's absolutely astonishing. Well, uh, uh, well look, what's, I know you're um, advanced enough to recognize that the Phoenix is rising through the ashes. It's transformation. You know, yeah. it's it's yeah. Um, a, a rising up through um, whatever challenges, whatever addictions, whatever um, yeah. things that are trying to keep us in chains. Such mm -hmm. a chains of fool. That's the second time tonight yes, that Aretha has been singing in my head. So apparently, <laughs> a lot of people are going through the issue of feeling like they're they're wrapped in chains and they need to break break <sighs> free. Okay. Wow. Um, you with your art, artwork is always healing. Okay. Yeah. Art, art, music, all the arts is it's just um, magic, magical medicine, as you know. Uh, keep per, yeah. keep pursuing your art because I do feel that there will be a showing for you, um, <laughs> and uh, in a gallery and also an outdoor venue where there are sculptures yeah. and stuff like that. Um, There's a sculpture park. Oh, not too far from me that I've gone to a couple of times that pulls me back all the time. The oh, see? Park. I want to learn. I want to learn how to weld. Okay, so maybe I, I'm I psychic here. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, there you uh, go. All there right. you go. So definitely um, <laughs> uh, pursue that. You know, you're going in the right direction with that. I can tell you not yeah. to worry about your daughter, but that's telling like telling the sun not to shine. <laughs> All right, <laughs> a cancerian mother. Tell a cancerian mother not to worry about their child. Not yeah, happening. Exactly. Okay. Not gonna happen. So, but what I can right. share with you, Claudia, honey, is every little thing gonna be all right, as Bob Marley would say. All right. <laughs> she is gonna uh, rise above. She is going to be the phoenix that um, creates a whole new life, bigger and better. Yeah. And sometimes we have to, you know, people have to realize that. Um, the process of going through the darkness and then realizing we are the light is very sacred. It's amazing. Yeah. So both you and your daughter are doing a parallel. Um, we, we are. You are. 
you know, just in yeah. different ways. And so don't allow, and your, your teacher is right, don't be distracted by the shadow. Keep focusing yeah. on the goal and keep uh, fo and just keep sending her healing energy. Amen. Sister. Amen. And so let it be written, so let it be done, as the Pharaoh would say in Egypt. <laughs> and um, are you drawn to Egypt? Do you have a lot of uh, Egypt uh, artifacts at all? Uh, no, but my sister does. Okay. Interesting, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. um, I keep seeing um, the pyramids and. Um, Ooh. Art, artifacts from Egypt and interesting yeah so I don't know maybe you guys had a lifetime back then but uh, I'm guessing maybe but just uh, the black eyeliner just the black eyeliner you know <laughs> it was a tip-off <laughs> there we go it's, it's all about it's all about the eyeliner baby all right so uh, those glam eyes Woo! All right. we love them we love them all right so Claudia here's my, here's um, what spirit wants you to know spirits got you back 24-7. Um, you're going to be having even more vivid dreams. They said that they've been uh, having visitations with you. Yes, indeed. Okay. And yes, um, it's not going to be cryptic, cryptic at all. It's going to be very um, straightforward. So you don't even have to overanalyze. The answer is going to be right there for you. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. So I release you in light and love. I know it's going to be Bye. fabulous. Thanks for calling in tonight, Claudia. All right. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. Okay. Have a great night. And for all you Cancerians out there, hey, keep the faith. You know, do the spiritual surrender. Angels are always by your side. And if you're watching live, don't go away. We're going to be coming back so I can give you some more good 411 for your lives. Hang in there. We'll get through it together.